If you want to know how you can make a game like Tower of Hell, make sure to watch my tutorials and watch part 1 first. Enjoy the video! Hey guys, and welcome back to this video. This video is the last part of the Tower of Hell series, part 4. And I just want to be doing some mutators and a winner's door, so, um... Because mutators would be the last thing, um... Tower of Hell has. And we're gonna try to make bunny hop, double speed, and, um, the winner's door. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that right now. It really supports me out, and if you want to become a member, click the blue join button down below on my channel. And uh, we should start off, so enjoy the video. So before we actually start off doing that, I want to go into your tower selector script. And over here just type print randomize.name dot dot has been chosen. So you're going to see if we play the game. Um, after the, uh, the tower uh, has been selected, we are going to uh, see in the output or in the developer console that um, it's going to say like tower has been selected. Yep, tower one destroyed. No tower two or three found, and tower one has been chosen again. Um, it, got, it got chosen again because it's randomized and it just randoms from number one to two, uh, one to three. It's three. So let's make the actual door now. So I'm making a part in here. Click the join one by so, and I'm just gonna name it Winner's Door. I'm gonna making it white and neon. That should be sized and uh, anchored, enabled, and can collide false. Man, okay, let's do it like that. I'm gonna go into leader stats. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And over here, I wanna type local has one is equals to instance dot new. And we're gonna do a bool value. But we're not gonna put it into leader stats, but into the player. So you can do has one dot. Um, value equals to false and has one dot name is equals to has one so you're gonna see if you play your game you look into players you're gonna see has one and you can just set it to true or false um so that works you want to go into your you want to add in a script in your winner's door script dot parent dot touched colon connect Function player, well, no hit, 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 hit. Uh, if hit the parent, come on, find first child, humanoid, then um, local player is equals to game the players, we call on get player from character, hit the parent. Like that. And you can just do uh, player that has one, that value is equals to true. Um, if ha player dot has one that value is equal equals to false or true. Uh, oh wait, I get it. If player dot has one dot value is equal equals to false, then uh, player dot has one dot value is equal to true. So we're just gonna test that out real quick, and then we're gonna actually give the player some points if they touch the part. So let's, oh, um, wait, the door is not, oh, wait. There we go. I'm gonna do it quickly. So I'm gonna touch the part and we'll get the, uh, if I'm right, has one. Yep, and you see it had the, the value got enabled. So that works. I'm gonna size it a bit down, I guess. And you can do player.leader stats dot points. Value is equals to player dot leader stats dot points dot value uh, plus let's give them uh, what it uh, one hundred because um, Tower of Hell also gives you one hundred I believe. Sure, I'm a bit tired, but um, let's test this out real quick. So if we go through, we should only yep, we only got a hundred points, and if we touch apart, we're gonna get a uh, no points extra. And if the game resets, it's still enabled. So we're gonna fix that. I'm gonna go into your kill handler. 
and then player dot has one dot value is equal to false. So you can win again. Because if you cannot win anymore, that's gonna be pretty messed up. Okay, so let's see. We took the part. Boom. We got a hundred points. I'm gonna wait for a second. Okay, there. And if we took the part again, as you can see, we can get another one. Uh, another 100 points so that works and we're gonna, now gonna be trying to make some mutators uh, Such as bunny hop and double speed and everyone will get that so let's try and make them So to make your shop uh, we're gonna be doing a few things we're gonna of course set it to everyone So I'm gonna open this boom Gravity coil I'm gonna duplicate that and put it down over here And this is going to be the gravity. Okay. And this is going to be the uh, double speed. Um, you can just do gain that replicated storage dot double speed mutator. I'm gonna actually put that in real quick. Double speed mutator. On fire server, and um, if we want to set it to everyone, we're gonna be doing a few things. So, you're gonna do over here player, and over here player, then go into serve script service, insert a new script. It's going to be the remote event handler game that replicate storage dot double speed mutator dot on server event colon connect function player uh, game the replicated storage dot double speed return we're making a new one again double speed return colon fire all clients player um yes and uh, you want to do it again. So over here, when I insert a local script, uh, again the replicated storage dot double speed return dot on server uh, on client event colon connect function player uh, game replicated storage dot uh, double speed. I'm just gonna name it double speed extra return. Colon fire server, of course. Double speed, speed extra return. Uh, just like that. <laughs> and then we can go back in our remote event. Game the replicator storage dot double speed extra return dot on server event colon connect function player, and then player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals to 16 times 2 32 so if I'm correct it should work oh we did not do one thing I believe in our leader stats we check yeah if he has enough play if he not has enough points um oh, we can do it over here If player that leader stat the points that value is above uh, that, we're just gonna do game dot replicate storage dot double speed return colon fire all clients player, and let's test this out. And I know that it still says gravity coil, not what the matter. Boom, boom, and as you can see, we get double speed. I'm just gonna do one single thing. So over here. Script the parent dot visible seek is false a uh, script parent the parent Visible seek is false and over here too And then once we did that we can go disable this double speed double speed 49 points Wait, it's 50 oopsies Oopsie, oopsie. And I'm gonna set my timer a bit higher. 
seconds, 25, so we get enough time. As you can see, we walk around, we touch this wheel, 100 points. Can we get a gravity coil? Yep, we can. We can jump a bit higher now. And if we want double speed, we can buy that, and we just got double speed. And I noticed one thing. It did not remove my points. Um, that is a bit weird because it should. Uh, oh wait, we're never we're never removing the player that leader stats the points that value is equals to player that leader stats the points that value. Minus fifty. Oh, minus fifty. Uh, let's set that out again, and then we can do bunny hop, and then we should already be ready to go. This is epic. Okay, we touch it. We can buy a gravity coil for 50 points. We can buy double speed for 50 points. And now we can run around. Boom. Boom. So everything works for now. So uh, because everything works, we're now going to be trying to make some bunny hop. Um, I just have to know one single thing, humanoid. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get, I get the point. So, I believe you can just do humanoid.jump. Um, I think we gotta do this mechanic all over again. It sounds pretty, pretty annoying. But I think we gotta do it all over again. So, you, you duplicate one of the, another um, thingy. We're gonna do bunny hop. Sorry, bunny hop. Wow. Okay. Bunny hop 50 points. And we're just going to change a few things. Instead of gain double speed, we're just going to do bunny hop mutator. Bunny hop mutator. Then over in your remote event handler, you can copy and paste this and boom. And instead of double speed mutator, you can do bunny hop mutator. And over here, we're going to make a new remote event with... Bunny hop return. We're just gonna name it bunny hop return. And then you wanna go back to your local script and type this again. Bunny hop return. Bunny hop extra return. Bunny hop extra return. And now that we've done that, we can go back into our service script service. Right over there. And then, bunny hop extra return. Then, what should we do? Uh, wait. Player.humanoid. Player.character.humanoid.jump.value. The jump is equals to true, I believe it's like that. We're gonna test that out real quick. Oh. Uh. What did we do wrong? I didn't oopsie. Oh, there's no double speed return or something. Oh, he's right. Double speed return. Weird. Let's test it again. Let's test this out again. Yep, now it works. Let me just test that out. Yep, and... And as you can see, we just bought a bunny hop and we keep jumping every single time right now. So, um, I'm going to be waiting for a second. As you can see, I'm not doing any single thing. So, in test, in testing, I found an error um, in, uh, in kill handler. What to do? Game uh, player thought... Character dot humanoid a jump equals to false. Ok, 
Okay. Boom. 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 Bunny hop. And I'm not even jumping, guys. Gonna waiting for a quick second. Hmm, that's weird. Why does load character not do that? We're gonna find that out. So there was an error. Um, it, it kept jumping. Um, so what do you wanna do? You wanna go and see your uh, remote event selector, a uh, handler. Sorry. And instead of what to do, repeat. Um, repeat that. Until, and you can do something like game the workspace dot round ended. That value is equals 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 to true. I'm sorry. You want to go into game. You want to insert a bool value. You want to do round ended. You want to disable it. And then. The round ends. Uh, you can do a game. The workspace. Dot round ended. The value is equal to true. And then over here. Um, if game. If game the workspace. The round ended. The value is equal to true. Then game the workspace. The round ended. The value. Because of false. Well, we aren't gonna test this out. Immediately gonna open workspace on round ended. We're gonna do this. I'm gonna buy bunny hop and I'm gonna do shop at double speed. Looks epic though, and the way you can jump just automatically. I just wanna know if it works. Because <laughs> I am pretty annoyed by this. It keeps not working. Okay, so you can do. And as you can see, it did not update. But as you can see, we stopped jumping. We can do this. Boom. Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, wait, I need to buy double jump. Uh, okay, there. So we can do this. You can build your own stages in here. So as you can see... Boom, round ends, and boom, we stop jumping. So this was the series, and if you enjoyed, do not forget to like and subscribe. Tomorrow, I want to make a live event tutorial, and the day after that, a uh, checkpoint system. So if you enjoyed this, do not forget to like and hit the b a bell or something. Yep. Just don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out, and goodbye.